hippo out of water that seems frozen for the moment. He just did a very rapid sprint across the road and now has gone and stopped. There we go. Little bit of movement. It's the wonderful thing about being in the Mara is we don't actually often see hippos out of water that frequently in South Africa. Well, we do in South Africa, but on Juma and during our live drives, it's not often that we do, and it's usually towards dark. But out here, we, it's become an almost regular thing to see them wandering about. And because, of course, it's so open, when we do see them, we can spend a little bit of time with them and really just get an idea of just how massive they are. Now, if we were on Juma, I would jump out, not right now, obviously, because there's a hippopotamus there. I would jump out and go walk to where he was and stand there so that you could get an idea of the size comparison. Please note for our new viewers, that should not be done while the hippo is still in the vicinity. They are quite angry animals at times, or at least they are an animal that chooses the fight option rather than the flight in certain circumstances, especially if you're between them and water. Which is, of course, why they've gained that reputation as being one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. It's not really their fault. It's not that they're more aggressive than anything else. They're certainly one of the larger animals, which, of course, gives them the advantage. But it's also because they live in water and they, their safe place is in water. And if you come between them and water, they don't like it. And they would prefer to go through you to get back to the safety of their, of their water point. And of course, human beings build homes and cities, well, cities is a stretch, but certainly villages, towns, and yes, certain cities on the river. Hence why I think it's one of the animals that's responsible for the most deaths of, in, of people in Africa. There's lots of them and they live in rivers and people generally tend to congregate around water. Washing, cleaning, drinking, whatever it may be. There, is, there are certain people that argue, of course, and I, I think I agree with them, that crocodiles are probably responsible for more deaths than hippopotamus. The problem is, is that the victims of the, hip, of the crocodile are very seldom found. And we don't know exactly what the statistic is there. Mostly, they're just animals that want to be left in peace, like all creatures out here. Not aggressive or have it in for human beings. They can be terrifying, though. They can be truly terrifying. And you'd think to look at it, for our new viewers who perhaps haven't seen this, you'd think to look at it that it would be relatively easy to outrun a hippopotamus. I mean, they're, they're rather clumsy looking, they've got relatively stubby legs and they're quite large. You wouldn't expect them to be able to cover ground in the way that they do, but they're faster than a human being, easily. They're agile, surprisingly agile. They can't jump, so you'd probably be absolutely safe. You would be absolutely safe if you could get out of its reach. But they can traverse very steep banks. There you go, chitty chitty bang bang. No, they are not slow on land. This one is taking a morning stroll. But having seen a hippopotamus run before, and it's something that you will see at some point, um, if you keep watching our live safaris, you'll see what a, hippop a hippopotamus is capable of doing. It's actually quite terrifying just how fast they can move. And you know, this whole idea that they, they can't go up and down slopes or something like that is completely ridiculous. Because if you look at the riverbanks that they climb out of and back into, they are more than capable of going up a very steep incline. So, yes, hippopotamus are very fast. No, they are not slow. And they can be very scary. And they wander far and wide at night. And generally, if you drive down this road, you'll probably, at night, you'll probably see about 100 hippopotamus easily wandering about, easily, in pods of 20 grazing around. Just wanted to see what these zebra were looking at but I think they might just have been looking at the hippo. Because now everybody's relaxed again. Hey guys, did you see something? I don't think so. I think they were just idly watching the hippo wander by. <laughs> 